Hi guys, Naya here. Welcome to the fourth episode as playing as Hutama. As a man of people, Hutama would often disguise himself and spend time in public places to get to know his constituency. Besides loving his fellow Polistralians, Hutama wanted to understand their different viewpoints, especially on topics such as foreign relations and international trade. While this caused his protective service no end of problems, some speculate that it was one of these outings that caused him to reverse his position on the seating and embrace extra solar colonization. Let's see the status. We are making some energy, some pretty good amount of diplomatic capital, and we have a bit of a quarrel with Kavitha. And building our cities takes a while. Uh, they're not really growing. That means we should, and we definitely should, get ourselves some more health, like biowells. And I'm thinking of a combination of manufactories and biowells, for example, in Rangi. Oh, one of my workers was destroyed by Miasma. I was not careful enough. There we go, we've got some targets. Let me see, we cannot strike far. That means if we were to strike Mandira, we would need to get either aircraft carriers or a city clo much closer to, to her. Uh, the range is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six. I won't be able to reach her from Kesempotan, but maybe some units. We finish this absurd curse and get 10% respect from diplomacy partners. That's a new one. I have never had this outcome, I guess. New era of empathy has begun. The process of spreading these genes is still in its infancy, but within a few generations, our entire population may share a heightened awareness of each other's intentions. Telepathy, fine. It's only a matter of time before we gain deeper insights while dealing with neighboring colonies. It's very helpful to trade if you know what your opponent is wants. Got ourselves harmony level 6. Great cutters into screamers. Fine. Let's take the 40 person when attacking cities. It might be helpful. Stronger when alone. And jack jets into needle jets. Very standard ones. Uh, stronger against units. I have finished the warp spire. It has three population, but already making progress from trade. Here's 18 from trade routes. That's insane production. Pembalon needs a worker, and afterwards I can create some more pions. A grow lab is now accessible. Alright, we have finished either biology. Alright, pion uh, later, grow up in Rangi. And one in Freeland as well. Our agent was promoted to special agent. And I think it is time we start stealing some science from our partners. I think my worker was improving the ferroxide here or moving or something. If there wasn't miasma, an alien nest could spawn. I don't want to spawn want it to spawn right here, maybe maybe later. I also want this floatstone instead of the alien nest. Quest reconstituted regulation for biofactory will give us more food. An observatory, I can now with clear conscience build observatories with sources of ferroxid. Let's get a worker in Jimbumba. Um, I don't need to buy buildings. I have so much income from trade. And even though Pembella doesn't have a Ferroxid yet being worked. Oh, there is the Ferroxid mine, fine. Then I'm making an observatory. Alright, so she has one, two, three, maybe four, to four cities already. Mm, maybe more. Well, Saira was moved from down here up. Let me check. We, have, we still have some free trader slots. Let's try the one from Naira. And I will launch my first pan. I need some in Freeland and afterwards I can't tell which city has like which port could utilize three more uh, health of Pembala Jimboomba as well three I'm not even maxed and 
getting a bit of health would help me immensely. I cannot build a floatstone quarry yet, so let's make a generator. In the meantime, I hope the aliens won't get too uppity. Kavita has only three cities. I think this might be able, I might be able to take this. I'm still expanding my trading here. Uh, maybe Gene yeah, Gene Circulops will be a good partner. But not from my eva. I will make this route to to Richport. Yeah, Richport will gain quite some food. Heart is growing re really quick, even if it doesn't have any improved tiles, which is fun. I'm building farms in within three turns. That's pretty quick. I think Vembella can support a trader to Jinsa Kulaps. This is safe. Um, actually, I do already have the quest from, from Ultra Saint Francis that protect my trade route, so I don't have to care about that anymore. And I will produce more peons here. They are short-lived orbital units, but quite helpful. Quest to stay or go from Growlab. We can either get 450 energy or one population in each of our cities immediately. This is really strong. Even if you're not growing, one population in each city is a huge boost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All seven people. It, it would be even more if I had more cities. I will make a colonist in Richport. It will not take <laughs> any time. Literally two turns is very, very quick. And what I need right now is probably some social development. Let's switch to that. As you can see, Jimumba is getting 12 from social development. All right, a generator is, is in place. There will not spawn any other alien nest. It's growing really rapidly, 21 for trade routes. Let's see, Rangi has none. And I wonder why is that? Now, well, Rangi doesn't need to build anything else. Let's go social and claim all these tiles as well. So we'll reach port. Let me see. I wanted to send this colonist over here somewhere to utilize all the canyons. I could use an armor. Well, this armor also. And reach port is fully improved. Not counting these empty tiles. Let's leave that. And I have slept over on my capital. Let's improve my traits. Uh, precise. There is photosystems, we get additional food from plantation improvements. That can be huge because we have some plantations and we get access to solar collect. Also, level 8 from Harmony makes my units immune to damage from Miasma. We have finally adapted to the new world. As the next research, we will need either terraforming or bionics. Let's go for bionics first then. And since we level to affinity 8, we can upgrade our units. Uh, good at pillaging, Triton at attacking cities. Gunners will get more strength when attacking fortified units. And the submarines take more movement. Duncan Hughes completed very gyre. The AI loves this uh, wonder, especially the water-based AIs. And as such, I think I'm going to make and build a strike force. Let's build some vipers. Fine, we have battled the unhealth problem. We are only at minus, negative 10% growth in our cities, which is fine, fine by me. We got some more energy. Let's steal science. Our agent is no longer a recruit, but an agent. We've got a new virtue. Let's go for the settler clans. One more population in newly founded cities can be big. We can easily spam out colonists and go take more land. There is some space, there is some space, there is some space for the taking. Here is some space, here is some space. And I'm going to purchase this titanium that can be very helpful. There are some aliens, we may be able to fight them or even not. Depends, it depends. Okay, some pattern was founded. It's already starting with two people and we'll need to build a trade depot, but I can purchase a lot of the buildings, like Vivarium, like Network, and like 
clinic as well as alien preserve and recycler these are kind of the basic buildings that you would like to see in all your building on your all your new cities uh, my advice for example missing a recycler and this colonist will go on to the other side and kind of want these cinemas and some ferroxide to be covered um, also this bloodstone let's settle on this tundra hill quest for observatory i either get five city strength or orbital coverage let's go for orbital coverage this time i don't need the city strength i guess we are not fighting anyone yet we are on good terms sure let's not fight the aliens here there is indeed level in freelance someone is spying against me I will see to that later. And Harta definitely needs a warp spire. It was growing from from trade routes and it still is. This is great. It also has one an unemployed citizen because it's outgrowing its borders. So I should probably buy something like this. So they can work on the land. Finished the quest action potential. We made two and nursery buildings. And next we need a Xenoswarm unit. That means more research. But that's pretty easy. Xenoswarm is nested on alien sciences, alien adaptation. That might be one of our next researches. Yes, let's go for terraforming then and alien adaptation afterwards. No, here bionics, terraforming, alien adaptation. And there is a war, Elodie on Duncan Hughes. They're pretty far away from each other. Let's not get too uppity about it. And settle our city. Let me check. Is there a... No, there is no agreement uh, regarding the colonists. That means we have to hard build the city. And wait for it to become... From outpost to become a city. There is Bionics for Biowell, which is a harmony-oriented improvement of course that means rangi will need more workers here and of course to claim the tiles it will it will work the social development and i can start building biowell biowell is a very good improvement because it doesn't cancel anything that is on the tile it doesn't cancel miasma it doesn't cancel forest marsh no fear no feature no no resource but it of course doesn't improve the resource mm, but it gives additional food on the tile so it preserves the forest and just builds a bio well upon the forest and also provides one additional health it will take 14 turns which is pretty long but considering it could take 20 or more uh, normally without any improvements this is decent. Now I can build an institute. An institute has quest for free technology. Some percentage of city science, which isn't as interesting. Improve the growth rate of Kala. And let me think about the colonist around here. One, two, three. I can settle literally anywhere in this gully. It would be, of course, a good def defensive uh, city. If I were to place it in the tight place here, I don't have to care for that. And I want as many canyons in the city as I can fit in, but not as many mountains. There's Xenomass, I want to improve that. And a lot of resources here, let's place it over here. And the good thing is you can also build biowalls over water. As you have probably seen in one of my earlier playthroughs with NSA. And where I was making insanely big city. 30 population city in a, in a normal game is pretty big. Rangi got itself some workers. I will preserve these marshes and build the wells upon them. And I will build manufactories in the south on the plains. I thought about it the other way and well... It's about the same. Now I will prepare my artillery down here so that probably in the next episode I will strike upon Mandira. Look, she's destroying the aliens. Those are my friends. Rangi needs to go social development for more 
tiles. Of course, I can easily purchase those tiles, but getting them with, with the culture is free. And I don't need the city for anything else. And let's settle down here. The city is called New Hope. New Pope. As promised, I will build manufactories over here. And I don't remember um, the shortcut. The key for manufacturer is W. Let's build some. We've got their farming for flowstone quarries and terrascapes. Terrascape is the ultimate improvement in the game. But of course, it is not related to our affinity, to our harmony, but instead to purity. That is improved here with energy and health from terrascape improvements. And in the virtues as well, here with ecoscaping. That makes Terrascape um, the most simple, most powerful improvement in the game. Because Embodon definitely needs a worker to improve these titanium and those tubers. LOD is warning me because our affinities differ greatly. That means she has reached level 5 in supremacy it seems Duncan Hughes is going harmony uh, Kavitha is leaning towards purity and Hunter Moon harmony as well there are some people who will be harmonious with us it's a nice proposition and now I'm able to improve the fold stone here what do I do with this one free space it's grassland I think I'm going to place a manufactory over it Right now it only gives three um, production, which is much less than a mine, or a bit more than a standard mine, a bit less than a mine on titanium. But mines can only be built on special resources or on hills. New town here is is named New Hope. Let's hope our New Hope will be good. Now she's fearing me. I will not accept the betterment in our relationships let's go for another virtue and i can get in social investment for production for manufacturing improvements but i don't have any yet let's leave that for later we can either go mind over matter or adaptive sciences here and i think the seven health is really great it won't get us into positives yet but that takes time my eva finished everything it needs doesn't have any unworking, not working people, but should get this cinemas and doesn't need anything else. Let's go social development and expand our borders. And I almost forgot I've got enough diplomatic capital. Let's finish our personality traits. Precise. I think I will keep this combination. We should definitely get the civil infrastructure either from Hunter Moon or Elodie. I think Hunter Moon is more strategic partner and Elodie can give me more energy from strategic resources. And I need some cooperation with Duncan Hughes. Let's take the orbital coverage from trade stations. Yep, everyone is very open towards me. I would think so. They all like me very much. They all respect me, except for Kavitha. And I will build an institute in Freeland. I think I should definitely improve more tiles in Freeland. Let's do that. We got alien ad adaptation for Xena Swarm. I think I can buy one of these units, let's say in Jimboomba. Uh, Xena Swarm only costs 370. Wait. I need to build it in Freeland. That's the bad part. Can I purchase it in Freeland? Xena Swarm? Yes. He has the action potential. It's not really end of the story, but the quest ends here. We got 20 affinity towards Harmony and some culture. That means we have reached level 10 of Harmony. We finished the alien adaptation, of course, and I am going into Mechatronics next as a next research. And I'm going also into fabrication and probably civil support. Why? If it doesn't give anything towards harmony? Well, there is crawler and in meta materials there is the tectonic anvil. I will improve my artillery into Kentaur. Let's make it stronger when defending 
That also means ranged else attacks from city. Kala was founded. Let's purchase the necessary buildings. Um, out of energy. Yes, because I was purchasing uh, these these Xenos Worms. A trade route to Kala will give me 11 production per turn. That's insane amount. I like it very much. Here I finished the floatstone and this worker will go improve Kala. Oh, we didn't finish any technology, but I think this is a good time to stop the episode. Turn 166 or turn 167. Let's see. Yeah, we felt a still science. Too bad. We are also producing institute in one turn. Well, let's see what technology we will get for free in the next episode. And I think it is time to attack Mandira. Even though our units are not as strong as the city, I think we will be able to take it. Let's get surprised in the next one. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.